Bonjour, my name is Pierre, Pierre Baron de Coubertin, and I know everything about the Olympics. Really? For example, do you know why people from Africa are always winning the steeplechase? I do. My story starts with an American FBI agent named Horace Aschenfelter. He trained for the steeplechase by hurdling park benches at night. In 1952, he beat Russian Vladimir Kazantsev and won Olympic gold. It was the middle of the Cold War, and the headlines in the papers were Capitalism beats communism. This was very, very right, of course, because steeplechase is a very capitalistic sport. Really? To understand this, we go back to the 18th and 19th century. In that time, if you had a sheep, you could let it graze almost anywhere. Then some wealthy landowner said, Hey, why don't we take all the common land? So they lobbied with the parliament and crafted the Enclosure Acts. The result was that by law, almost all common land went to a few people and small landowners were forced to move to the cities. This kick-started the Industrial Revolution, and, very important for this story, everywhere there were fences and small brick walls built around pieces of land. Suddenly, during fox hunts, horses had to jump all kinds of obstacles. They had never done this before, because simply there was no need to jump. So foxes had some good years, but then horses showed their incredible physical abilities. They became so good at jumping that people started organizing competitions. Some were held in stadiums, much like horse jumping today. Other competitions were held across country. They were called steeple chases. During those years, it was very popular to sit on a horse, look for a church steeple, and race to it. Jumping all kinds of walls, hedges, fences, and ditches, people loved it. But not all people. Take Halifax Wyatt. He was an Oxford student and very, very bad at this steeplechase thing. He was always falling from his horse. And one day he proclaimed, rather than climb back onto that damned camel, I run those two miles by foot. This sparked the idea of a race by foot with the same barriers. It was first held in 1850 and won, of course, by Halifax Wyatt himself. Steeplechase by foot then became part of the Oxford-Cambridge rivalry and later moved to the stadium and to the Olympic program. At the Olympics since 1984, the steeplechase is dominated by athletes from Kenya. They have won the last seven gold medals. People from Kenya, however, have never won a medal on an equestrian event. In history, there have been 395 equestrian medal winners but none of them came from Africa. Not one. The conclusion can only be that people from Africa are not very good at horse riding. Yeah. Just like Halifax Wyatt in 1850. And that must be why they are so incredibly good at steeplechase. Really? Do you want to know everything about the Olympics? Go to www.pianos.com. Really? Uh.